here's where things get very interesting. A while back, we saw how we could control the sort order or the display order of child flex items inside of our flexible layout, inside of our Flexbox layout. We saw how we could change the order of these items without having to change the order of our code or move things around inside our code. Now, a powerful option when using nested child flex items inside your layouts is controlling their display order. And what's amazing about this is that each parent flex container has its own independent display order, independent of any other parent container's display order that may happen to appear inside your layout. Said another way, each group of nested child flex items has their own display order that isn't affected by any other groups of child flex items that appear within your layout. So I hope that makes sense. I've got two examples of this to show you a simple example and then a much more interesting, much more I'm not, not crazy complex, but a little bit more intricate example to show you here. So the simple example here first. What I'm going to do is I'm going to head into my code, of course. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with child number nine. Okay. Now, of course, he's the guy way over here on the right hand side. He's the rightmost nested child flex item. Okay. And what I'm going to do with this guy is I'm going to set an order on this guy. And again, we've seen this already, right? I'm going to go order full colon space one, followed by a semicolon like so. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this code that I just dropped in here, and I'm going to copy it and paste it all the way up my code, all the way up to child item number four right here. Okay, so four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, those are our nested guys, there are nested child items. And I'm going to set the order. So nine is going to be one, eight's going to be two, seven's going to be three, and so on, all the way up the board here, four, five, and of course, six. And by the way, just a quick aside here before we go any further, everything that we already know about sort order, what happens when elements don't have an order value, using positive values, using negative values, all that stuff definitely applies when we're working with nested child flex items and trying to control or setting their display order. Okay, so everything that we learned earlier still applies here. So this is the simple example. All I'm doing here after I save my code and refresh is reversing the order of the nested child items, nine, eight, seven, and of course, six, five, four. Okay, so no problems here. And again, as I say, if child four's order value was some kind of a negative value like this, of course, that's going to impact the sort order that we have here. Or if one of the items like child number five doesn't have a sort order, of course, that's going to impact the sort order as well. So now we have the negative value, no value, and then the lowest positive value followed by higher positive values. Okay, so again, everything still applies here. All right, so that's the simple example. Let's get a little bit more interesting, a little bit more down the road, a little bit more real world, let's say. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up two groups of nested child items here. So what I'm going to do is inside my HTML, I'm going to take seven, eight, and nine, my seven, eight, and nine nested child items, if you will, and I'm going to cut them of child number two, and I'm going to drop them into the right hand column, which is child three, this guy way over here inside my layout. Okay, so I'm going to wind up with something like this. Okay, and let me just clean up my code a little bit. There we go. Okay. And as far as four, five and six are concerned, I'm going to yank them out of child number two as well. And I'll collapse up some of my space here. And I'm going to drop them into the left hand column inside my layout, which is column number one, way over on the left hand side, of course. Okay, so I'm going to wind up with something like this. Okay. All right, so hopefully so far so good. As far as child number two, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw in some quick text here just so we have a little bit of content in there, okay? All right, so hopefully so far so good. The only other thing I'm gonna do here before we go and check out the result that we get inside of our browser is for child four, five, and six here in our CSS, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change their order to one, two, and three as well. So six is gonna be one, 
5 is going to be 2, and 4 is going to be a sort order of 3. Okay, so now we have a few divs that use the same sort order, but if you've been paying attention here, they appear in different parent containers, meaning that their sort order will be independent. Okay, now speaking of parent containers, we have to go and set up child 1 and child 3, the left-hand column and the right-hand column, as parent containers. So let's go and do that now, and then we'll go and check out our result inside the browser. So for child one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and establish him as a parent flex container by setting display full colon space flex like so. And then I'm going to set flex hyphen flow full colon space row and I'll set no wrap on this guy. OK, great. And I'm going to do the exact same thing for child number three. And I'm going to use some copying and pasting just to speed this up a little bit like that okay so now child one is a parent flex container a nested parent flex container same with child three and same with child two although he doesn't have any child items left anymore all the kids left home so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to save my code head back to the browser the moment of truth let's go and refresh controller command r on my keyboard and this is the result that we now get so now we have two independent sort orders happening in the left-hand column, there's an independent sort order, and there's an independent sort order over on the right-hand side in the right-hand column. And of course, the center column is empty, just the placeholder text that you and I inserted in there. So two completely independent sort orders are at play here. Now, if we wanted to, we could head back to our code and start changing some of the sort orders that we have going on here. Maybe child number six, I'm going to remove his sort order and maybe child number four is going to wind up being a negative value of some kind like this. Perhaps child number eight will remove his sort order like this. Again, the two sort orders that we have at play here are not going to impact one another. They're completely independent, which really allows you and I to create some powerful, intricate layouts. Now, let's take this a step further, because don't forget... The left-hand column and the right-hand column are still nested inside their own parent container. What we could do, of course, is we could adjust the sort order of the parent containers themselves because they're just flex items within their own parent container. So what I'm going to do over inside my code is I'm going to go and find child number one right here, and I'm going to go and set an order on this guy. Order, full colon, space. And what I'll do is I'll set his sort order to three, like that. And I'll take child number three, and I'll set an order on him. I'll set an order of one for him, okay? I'll go ahead and save my code, head back to the browser, and refresh. And we now get this. We now get the what was the center column, the widest column, appearing first. Why does he appear first? Because he doesn't have a sort order on him right? Go back to that exercise on setting sort orders way back when. We know that an item or an element that doesn't have a sort order appears before items that do. The next item, the lowest sort order, is the next column in line, followed by the third guy. Now, again, what I could do is I could go and change this. I could go and take child number two here, for instance, and I could set an order on him if I were so inclined. Order full colon space two right? Something like this. Save, back to my browser, refresh. Now he's dropped back into the center, and the left-hand column and the right-hand column have swapped positions. So we're setting the sort order on, think of it as one level up inside our layout on the parent containers without moving around or adjusting any of our HTML code, which is super awesome. So hopefully you're starting to see the power here of Flexbox, Flexbox child items, nesting these child items, and setting their sort orders as well.